What is up, everybody? Uh, we're back. Yeah, we're <laughs> back for episode nine of Nasaratu. This is third person. You know it because yes. you're on the channel. Um, you know our names, whatever. It doesn't matter. Let's get to it. So, Mikey, uh, yes, sir. welcome to Christmas land, Mike. Yeah, we got a cool in-depth look at Christmas land. We saw some things and some crazy bananas. Um, yeah. So, all right. Uh, full, full disclosure. We put a poll mm. up. Mm -hmm. Who's who's gonna who's Vic gonna take to Christmas land? And unbeknownst to me, we had already posted images of Maggie in Christmas land with her for the episode. Oh, so. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops! I guess she's taking Magathon. <laughs> Whatever. She took Maggie. All right, great. Uh, this is yeah. a good episode, directed by Toa Frazier, who we know best known mm -hmm. for uh, Into the Badlands, but he's also done a ton of other stuff. Penny Dreadful, um, uh, dude, just he this that guy, man. Just a ton of other stuff. Not I a mean, ton of stuff, yeah. But I just uh, I I recognize his name from obviously from Badlands, and I was like, oh, Toa. Yeah. And I don't normally look at the directors. I should probably look more at the directors, but I don't. And I did this time, and it's Toa. Hi. Okay. What do you got? You got anything? We got some. We got some questions. We got we got a, a comment. Some questions. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. I want to say just let me see some things. My nose before we jump into the questions. I thought it was sick that she used her bridge to get through that. Maggie mm -hmm. calls attention to it, says, you know, you, you tore through fabric and imagination through reality and imagination. That was pretty cool. Uh, all his fears, right? We got all his fears. Oh, I liked how mm -hmm. Vic blew up Millie's spot. She was like, remember? Oh, I know. Remember? I know. Remember you told me yeah. you want to get the hell out of this place? And she, and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. was yeah. like, fuck, you got <laughs> confidence, bitch? Yeah. That's pretty funny. Yeah, it was good. It was good. There was, I mean, this is, this is, um, this is a cool in-depth look at, yeah. at Christmas land, obviously. So like you ah. said, we got a lot of cool, yeah, we got a lot of cool questions and comments. So, I mean, I think, you know, let's get right into it. Cause these questions kind of, kind of hit a lot of the, the, the bullet points that I was writing for my notes. So, all right. So let's, let's talk about one of the, the favorite scenes of mine, um, of the episode. And this is from Kim. Um, she says, uh, I enjoyed the house scenes with Manx and Casey. They were fantastic. Um, how did we find uh, those scenes to be? Cass so I'll let you start this. because Cassie I mean, was pissed, bro. Yeah. Cassie she was, was I mean, she, pissed. He was like the little <laughs> bitch of the episode. It was great oh, to was see great. Manx as yeah. like. He was cowed, man. Because at, yeah. first, at first I'm like, I wrote like Manx didn't know it was there. Question mark, question mark, question mark. No, he did. He just and, didn't. I don't think he did. No, I. You know what? I agree. I don't think he did. I think what happened was he thought his fears were like. It was a manifestation. Like, yeah, like his. Yeah. I don't know why he thought that his fears wouldn't be included in his like subconscious. Yeah. Like why? Why yeah. would you not assume that? That you know? Mm -hmm. And I thought that was pretty interesting considering this guy. That he's like I'm immortal. You know, he yeah. heard his he heard his father in law at first. Yeah, like, in the yeah. closet. In the closet, right? That was yeah. him in the closet. Too, you don't come visit that? me. You know. He's yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was it was just, really good. The vulnerability was was, yeah, it was, was fun, and Cassie's makeup crazy. on point. Yeah, like that was looking yeah. better than I feel like it looked better than it always has, unless it's the same. It's obviously the same, but I just thought it looked more prominent. Maybe yeah. they made it more prominent. I don't know. But and um, she grabs him to like dance and stuff. Like she's like, you know, <laughs> you don't know how to dance anyway, loser. You yeah, pay it was lessons, it was bad. You're always right? bringing us. You're always just dancing around in circles, loser. Basically, she's called yeah. loser the whole time, which is really good. It was um, good to see Manx like that. I mean, we've seen him vulnerable the last couple episodes, like with Bing and stuff like that. When Bing we've had seen him, tied him physically up, but... vulnerable, right? Yeah, yeah. He was like scared as hell. Not going emotionally. Through his we house. haven't really seen him emotionally vulnerable, yeah. so that was fun. Yeah, so yeah. it was really cool. I agree with with Kim. That Played really well by by Mr. Awesome Zachary stuff. Quinto. Yeah, yeah. I think. I mean, I've mentioned this before, and I'm sure you you probably feel the same way. But a lot of the backstory stuff of Manx this season was like some of my favorite oh, stuff. Oh yeah, just like just the Manx history stuff was right was awesome for a number of different reasons yeah yeah, yeah one being just that we get we're getting to see the backstory which is awesome mm -hmm. um all right so we're talking about his inscape christmas land is makes yeah. his inscape avi uh why why would he turn into an old man when the bombs exploded isn't the wraith supposed to do that what do you what do you think what are your thoughts on that oh and that's uh, from jesse that's, that's from jesse. jesse yes that's from jesse, thank you, jesse. um thank you kim yeah uh, I mean, I guess, I guess they worked one and the same. It would probably, it probably makes more sense that it would happen when um, Christmas Land gets destroyed. It's him. 
yeah, it's him. Just like the Wraith is kind of him. Um, Christmas Land is is no. Here's the difference. His immediate like his he, actual self. I think self. Yes, the Wraith. The he's connected his. He's connected his. Whatever his soul or whatever his to, life to source the, to the Wraith. But yeah. like you said. Christmas Land is him. It's his subconscious. The Wraith yeah. is a real thing. It's his fantasy. It's a real yeah. thing. Christmas mm-hmm. Land is a manifestation of his subconscious. So, yes, yeah. of course it would do that. Yeah, absolutely. And look at look at look at what happened when he was in the coma too, and when he was um, Christmas Land started to uh, yeah, Christmas fade Land stopped. And, it shut yeah. down, and right. I mean that was also a part because the Wraith was destroyed. But there was there was something to that, I think. So. Yeah, uh, I mean, a great question, but I'm, absolutely, it's like a piece of him is getting destroyed while when every bomb goes off, and just in the nick of time. Thank God in this episode because he was about to take. Well, that's just good TV, Mike. Yeah, yeah, dude. How about let me quick, quick. When you saw everybody running into that maze, were you like saying like, forget Wade, you're never gonna find your way out of? That would be like the scariest fucking thing to go into, especially in Manx's Christmas Land. Well, I was like. Why don't they right? climb? Oh, first of all, the first thing I thought was, why yeah. aren't they following the footsteps? They run in, they're like, what? Then it's like, yeah. but follow the footsteps, right? Yeah. Then I looked on the ground and I saw it was tons of footsteps. I'm like, okay, fine. Then yeah. I was like, when they're trying to get out, I'm like, lift one of each, lift one of you up. It wasn't yeah. that high. You could have lifted yeah. one up and looked peeked Throw over, them over to see where the edges yeah. was. <laughs> Yeah, it was. Cr- I it know was, it was ice and all, uh, but yeah, I don't know. I'm like they need like spray paint with like the with the arrows and they yeah. can like Remember mark their way. And the little yeah. creatures kept flipping around the arrows. Yeah, I just, I mean, dude, I saw that. I'm like, fuck. I'm like, let Wayne go. Forget it. Just get it's out done. of here. I know. She find... walks in. She's like, nah, I'm good. Yeah, you're never gonna find your way out of that fucking place. But <laughs> yeah, it was cool. It was cool. Well, you know, that was. <sighs> yeah, I mean, just talking about that, you know. She she got they got messed up in Christmas Land, which is cool. You mm-hmm. want the, you know mm-hmm. you want some yeah. th- you want some stakes at stakes. Yeah, them going in there. They both got bit. And seeing she got stabbed. The children. Yeah. I, oh, dude, that's dude, that's children of the corn right there. That shit was some yeah. children of the corn shit. We really you know? saw like you know with the costume and building and stuff like that was kind of like I cool loved, stuff to see. And... I love the twins. It was awesome. Yeah. Oh yeah. That the, was the some little really girls. Cool yeah. Shining. I bet you that was yeah. like a throwback to The Shining. I'm telling you yeah. right now, that was some of his his dad's. Mm-hmm. You know, somebody was like, "Yo, we gotta throw something like the twins in here for to call back to The Shining." Yeah. And, and then also the mat, like a lot of them wore masks. And what about those mm-hmm. those four boys that just ran around caroling at random yeah, points? Ca- like, yeah, and they were like clapping. <laughs> I liked it. It was great. It was creepy. Yeah, it was, no, so it, creepy. was it was really it was really cool. Teeth full, a mouthful of shark teeth. Like this, it, it was pretty dope. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, it was definitely it was definitely definitely dope. Um, all right, so let's go to um, uh, the, 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 what we going? All right, Jess, so this boy. question, yeah, this is the other qu- question from Jesse. Uh, Manx refuses Millie's offer. To stay in Christmas Land, if they let Wayne go, um, Manx also doesn't let Millie leave on her own. If Millie was never, uh, was Millie ever enough for him? And what's Millie's goal? Uh, what's Manx's goal? I should say in this whole thing. Right. So basically, yeah. If if Millie wasn't the question, right? If Millie wasn't enough, then what? Then what is his goal? Obviously, his goal is to just live forever. He doesn't care yeah. about the kids, obviously. Yeah. Like, that's not the point. He's doing it because he wants to live forever. Mm-hmm. Just but what is what is it about the the kids going there that makes him live forever? Just well, he the drains more kids them. he gets. Yes. Yeah. Well, oh, right? look, look, yeah, look. That, Once that, okay, yeah. okay. He's he's convinced himself that he's saving children. Yeah, he's because, definitely that's definitely the case. Because not for nothing, right? He's a human being. Okay. He's a human mm-hmm. being that's turned himself into this this you know why do why do serial killers yeah you know they they have a reason they have their own reasons for doing what what they do for yeah you know people you know the Nazis had reasons to commit mass genocide to people because they, they believe yeah. that what they're doing is right and all this bullshit so yeah he just he just believes that he's got to make up something he he well, he lost it after power. He's caught in this loop of himself. So what are you gonna do? The rest of your another hundred and a hundred thousand years, you're just gonna just consi- like and to what end? Yeah. Right. So yeah. I think the bigger question is what is Manx's goal? Then is a good bigger question. What is exactly? And and 
you know, immortality. Ob- well, right? obviously immortality, but for what? To what end? To what? Yeah. To, you're never gonna stop what you're doing until you're well, tired. I mean, of I mean, initially, he wanted a mother there, which was Vic, right? So maybe, like, <sighs> like, listen. Well, listen. Not for no, no, no. That was just that was just like. A side thing. That wasn't anything. That was just, he was like, oh, well, maybe I can get her there. I don't know what that really was now that I think about it. But what mm. I'm saying is he doesn't even, we don't, we've never even seen him do other stuff. We've never seen him use his immortality for anything. It's not like That's he's true. a rock star or he's a movie star or he's a writer or he's a, a you know, philanthropist. Like he's mm. none of those things. We haven't seen him do anything but no, find someone else children. and yeah. kill kids. That's the mm-hmm. only thing we've ever seen. So again, what the hell is his goal? Nothing. Nothing. You're living for nothing. He's living for nothing. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, that's what I think. So. No, I mean I can agree a lot of a lot of um, a lot on what you're saying. I definitely think it's the immortality thing. That's what makes him live forever. And uh, as far as caring for the children, I think he cares for the children in the fact that he thinks they're better with him. I mean, he gave, uh, he had that standoff with Vic. Yeah. But again, of, it, it, that's his own, it's his own ego. He's just stroking. But his still, ego. he still feels, he still, I agree, but he still, I think he still feels love for them. I think he loves Millie, but I don't think that he would give her that choice to say, um, you know, he said, you're staying with me and this kind of, kind of a thing. I don't think he necessarily um, would let her go anywhere, even though, well, no, that wasn't not. the case. Right. But it was kind of cool when she kind of had that scene with him where she's like, you're not going to hit me, father. Right. You know, if you want to kill Vic McQueen, you're doing it without my help. And she yeah, kind of right. walked out. So it was a big, like, shock to him that I think Millie, Millie's never spoken to him like this. Well, Millie's never said any of this stuff. Yet, yeah. Man, so, yeah. so uh, I mean, she always had her father's back. But yeah, it was. Um, and she would have, too, if she didn't spot the cabin, obviously. But, you know. I know he wants to say that Vic was the one that brainwashed her. When he said that, I'm like, no, the your wife did. Yeah, you know, she never really had. Well, he also said he brainwashed. He also said she brainwashed Cassie too. He said, you know, Vic Vic's brainwashed you and oh. your mother. Yeah, and, but he, and it's like she's like he never spoke to the mother. She's like, yeah. nah, nah, you're <laughs> you're off your rocker, old man. Yeah. All right. Anyway, very, let's very let's cool. keep going. All right. Uh, this is from Michelle. Uh, we saw Millie grab her ornament just just in time. Um, will the other children in Christmas Land be as lucky? Michelle says they deserve to leave just as much as she does. And, and obviously, yeah, um, mm-hmm. we did. We saw her about to die, and she just happened to see her ornament right there. Lucky her. Yeah. Yeah. Right? That, that and the fact that do these other kids really want to leave? And, and And who would be able to bring them along? To kind of persuade them, we see how how Wayne had to be really just like grabbed up, and you know. Um, well, I so think do do these kids want to leave? Millie wanted to get the hell out of there. Well, he, he here's a clue. Christmas Land shut down, and he says, "Up, oh, Christmas is over." So if that's a clue, I would say that's kind of like a clue. Like, oh, if he started to snap out of it because Christmas Land lost its hold over him, then mm-hmm. these children will probably be the same so we didn't you know in the coming attractions for the last episode we haven't seen anything yeah. we didn't they didn't show us anything which is fine and everything but no. yeah i don't know i mean you know i mean what are you what are you gonna do i mean millie's I think was if like they right start, there right if they start piling out they don't have a lot of time so i'm no, sure what some are you are gonna, going to do with the ornaments that of high up in the friggin some of them are like really up there i don't even know how the get, hell they got up there right yeah i guess i guess them? max had like a ladder or something or he, i don't know <laughs> <laughs> well, you just like just it's a little silly. I know, it's a little silly, but I don't yeah. know. I don't think they're all going to get saved. So, yeah, I mean, I just think I, I agree with Michelle where she says I, th- I believe they all deserve to. Obviously, these kids weren't asked to to go to this to this world away from their families and their parents killed in the process of yeah. Max taking them and things like that. But the difference is is these kids enjoyed being there. These kids. Um, well, they were Manx like their father. Yeah, well, they were, you know. And Millie was just Millie's also. Millie special. had like the wake up call. Millie's yeah. also special because yeah, she had like you said the wake up call in her mom and his fears. Yeah, and, 
you know, the kids don't have that. They've got none of that except each other yeah. and Manx and, and that yeah. so. You know, so we'll see. You know, I think I think some may make it out and some won't. Okay. Obviously, yeah, yeah. We'll see. Yeah, we'll, there's just no yeah. way for all of them to make it out, you know, which sucks, but um, yeah. all right. So what do we got? Okay, next follow all right. up. Um yeah, all right. So now that uh, this is from Jesse also. Um now that Millie is out into the real world, uh what do you think she's gonna do? What do, what can she do? I well, I mean, I, I think what's gonna happen I mean uh Tabitha and Lou might find her. By the way, real quick, mm. one of the best scenes was Tabitha and Lou in the car. Oh I uh, thought that was fantastic since mm-hmm. since we just we we didn't talk about that, so I just want to say, like, I don't know, did, did you think that was a cool scene? I just, they they were the sidekicks, and I thought that they yeah. were, I thought that was a fantastic scene from their perspective, you know, how they talked about it. Well, they it have and, something in common, yeah. I and mean, they're both in love with people that are very special, and... Yeah, I thought it was uh, great. I, Tabitha I, I, comes back, obviously, for her, yeah. Um, and, and yeah, so, no, that was definitely, it was definitely, and they're eating, like, the bed, what was it, like, a burger or something? Yeah, and, and he's like, I'm gonna die, and she's like, I'm yeah. gonna get fat, so... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, but, getting, I mean, yeah, getting to think? the question, uh, I can, do I think Manx Vic, Vic's going to find her? We'll make it out. I think Manx is done for just in my perspective. Yo, he got so bashed I could good. See, that was yeah. great. When yeah. she, yo, that scene when she just, the first time she cold clocked him with that thing, that was fantastic. Oh, I know. He's hit so I many know. people with that thing. Right. Yeah. Um, especially, especially Vic, but I think that it could be something like, um, I'm the happy ending guy. Mm-hmm. You know, you are so Vic and Lou now take care of Millie. Yep, and uh, somewhat adopt her uh, into their family and Wayne and Millie and Lou and yeah. and Vic. I I like uh, that. I'm gonna I'm gonna go happy ending with you on that. One. Have a happy ending. Yes, yeah. happy story with that. Yes. Yeah, I that's like where that. I'm gonna go. All right. Uh, so then our, our last uh, our last question from Brian: mm. Do you think the tiles will find their way back to Maggie? Um, I think they will. They did before. They did before. Um, but what will that do for her? It's not like Maggie can reach into the tiles and be like, get me out of here. Uh, in the coming attraction, it kind of looks like she's being attacked by um, a bunch of the children of Christmas Land. So what would the tiles really do for her? Um, unless there's well, I don't th- one I mean, last question she can well, ask. I don't- I mean, I don't think that's what Brian's asking. I think he just means like that right now they're lost. They had the run and she dropped them. You know, will will she ever find them again? And I think, yeah, will, will they no, help I, her I, to I, get I, out? I, I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So uh, what's no, the point? Like, if well, she doesn't, she, if but, it's not going to help her, what's the gain of finding them? Well, because she needs them. That's her power. That's her life. That's but her identity. She has other things. She has other things to worry about. No, right no, now. I understand that, but I don't mean it. Doesn't mean that they're gonna. You know. If Christmas lands dissolves and they could be laying there in the woods, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, will they find their way back? However that happens, whenever that happens, I think, yes. All right. Well, plain and simple. If you're just answering that question, just the way it's asked yeah, to yeah. us. I mean, they're not going to, I think, do, yes, nothing, I think it can I mean, there's nothing for them. She, to, she threw them out, right? Didn't she throw them out in the garbage? And then how did she find them? Do you remember? She threw them out. Oh god, did she go back in? And, and I them? forgot oh, how she got. No, nah, I forgot how she found them again. Yeah. Oh, that's that's right. She gave. I them remember up she like bit. she threw them out in the garbage. Bit, yeah. And first I season was how... so good. Wasn't the first season really good? Such a uh, such so a good, good that I don't remember how she found yeah, her tiles again. Anyway, um, yeah. Listen, we'll 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 see. We'll go back and watch. Unless yeah. you guys remember, you guys can tell us. You guys yeah, let us know right in the um, in the comment section to this video when it's po- when it's posted up there. I think that's it, right? That's uh, it, man. One this more. Was, no more. This was a good question. Uh, this was a. They, they're all good questions. I'll say. I'll mm-hmm. say it's a good episode. But you know, yeah. thank you everyone for the questions. Obviously, we appreciate that. Um, yes. You know, thank you very much for the support and 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 hanging out with us and watch and you know and 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 supplying questions and wanting to have this conversation with us. We really enjoy it. This has been a, this has been a great season. We've got one more to go. Yeah. Um, see where it goes. See how it finishes up. See what you know where we'll go next with it. Um, yeah. You know. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, it's another. I mean, another uh, another great episode. So, we appreciate everybody, like Chris said, to get those questions in. We always post in the third person pod and all the social media outlets um, to get those questions in. So please post um, any kind of theory, question, comments after the episodes. We really appreciate the other Nasratu group, uh, Facebook group, 
um, that uh, allows us to post our review Q and A's on yep. their on their fan page, and um, I mean that helped out a lot. We got a lot of um, questions from, from from that group, and um, it also puts our content out there, which we really appreciate that. So Absolutely, the link for yeah. that for that um, group is in the description yep. below, along with our. Uh, third person facebook group for nosferatu yes. again another great series guys check it out and um yo hit that subscribe button you know hit those like buttons that really helps us out tell people and, about it. if and, you don't uh, already know yeah. we have an interview it's always it's 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 in the last it's probably going to be here yeah. in any second or it's already here but we had interviewed with john bruno who is a, a special effects supervisor for this show nosferatu plus many other many other shows and and some of your favorite 80s and 90s classic movies, so. movies yeah so go yep. check that out thanks for thanks for watching and um yeah good stuff next. last one yeah. next week so we'll see you then it's gonna be good